<laughs> We're back. Welcome Ayo. back, yeah, yeah. listeners, watchers, netters, mm -hmm. spectators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Daniel, mm -hmm. Lindsay, how Fans. are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, pretty another good. Day. Yeah, life. the other life. Breathing. Breathing. Mm -hmm. You guys all right? I kind of tried to play that game with him that's like improv where yeah. we you have to look, match at say the same their time. time. We just, yep, yep, you just keep. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know how good how we are, are at that game. How are you, Devin? <laughs> Devin, where guys are? I loved it. I loved the game we just played. Uh, I'm well. Um, mm. I just had lunch, and my breath is a little stinky, and I can smell it Onions? bouncing off I the microphone. Onions mm -hmm. just general it. funk. Oh, yeah, just smell just it. funk from the the Mediterranean yeah. food we just. Hundred hundred percent. I can taste the onion in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. It's bouncing it's off like the microphone. It's like it's a retainer for yeah. me. Like the onion oh. is like a retainer. Nice. On the <sighs> but the listeners, you guys can't. <laughs> You guys can't smell this, so uh, it's just for me. Sorry um, for you. We need a scratch and sniff podcast Ooh, so they can smell yeah. us. <laughs> was smell well, vision ever a thing? No. It, well, it was a thing. I don't think it ever became like right, that. Right, but it was right, like, right, right, right. it's smell out there vision. in the yeah. zeitgeist. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. smeller yeah. vision. Wow. You can Strange. smell your shows. Yeah. You can smell the horse poop on Yellowstone. Yeah. <laughs> Leave us a note in the comments if you want that. We'll figure out a way to get that to you mm -hmm. guys. Some smell vision mm -hmm. so you can mm -hmm. smell us. Um, we can put stuff in the mail, too, dirty or clean. Yes, okay. sure. Got to pay that top dollar for that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that's um that's a secret link and a secret price. Sneaky Wait, link. Leave it in the Sneaky comments link. what you want us to send you guys. Yeah. Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just stay in the comments. Oh, you don't. Want, you'll never get anything. It's never going away. Um, the episode we are we are um reviewing. I mean, you guys who listen to the pod know. We'll maybe talk about the episode for like ten minutes and then we're gonna move on. But the episode we're discussing is season one, episode six, part two, Spelling, Spelling Bee. Bee. Wow. Okay, just a little recap. Here's what happens. We yeah. have three spelling bullies called the Killer Bees. Oh, yeah. One of whom is played by Carlos Pena. One of Devin's actual bullies, right? One of my actual bullies who tried to <laughs> steal the role of Ned Bigby from me <laughs> and ultimately got his revenge by being in a long-lasting boy band called yeah. Big Time Rush. With uh, our original producer. Exactly. He just Pena? stole Devin's producer. I said Pena? Pena on the last pod, and someone Somebody corrected said me and said it's not Pena, it's Pena. Like Pena. it doesn't have the oh the enye. It doesn't have yeah, the enye. It's an n, so it's mm. Pena. But isn't Pena penis? Oh, well, the Pena is penis. Okay, so, so. Pena isn't Pena pasta. <laughs> penne is just everything. <laughs> Penises are everything. Man. I love it. That would make sense for Italy. Pe penne and that's like that's like the dick for them. You know what um, I mean? A good pasta. pasta. <laughs> well, dang. Turn up. Oof. So yeah. I think it's Pena. Uh, so they are spelling bullies, terrorizing the school with their spelling. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants them to go down. Cookie yes. is is the hope. Yes. Cookie is Rocky. Cookie, mm -hmm. everyone is rooting for mm -hmm. the champion um, to win. Our our great announcers are back. Oh. Lily Galt and oh, yeah. Van Earl Jones, right? Van Earl so, Wright, right? Van Earl Wright. Yeah. And, and we go through a spelling bee. Mose is the first student out, so she has to sit next to Mr. Oh, Gross. Mr. Gross. Played yeah. by Steve Banos, who also played Mr. Comover and like <gasps> multiple characters. Yeah, I he forgot did. that he, he did. Ah. He, he's like the ever change. He plays like, I think, like four different characters. Oh my um, gosh, I forgot. But Mose has to sit next to him and tries to get Gordy to clean his stanky ass up. Yeah. Uh, Ned keeps getting easy words, so he makes it real. Really far, and uh, <laughs> Cookie ultimately has the Spartacus moment at the end, where everyone saves stands up and saves the day, and Cookie yeah. wins. No. Oh, go ahead. Go no, ahead. no, no, I think you're no, going the no, same no, place. I was going to say that that moment, that Spartacus moment, that's like a moment that I feel like would not fly in today's I agree. Uh, like a bunch kids of dudes TV. pulling a bunch yeah, of children bunch of pulling, pulling down their, their pants, pants down. dropping their pants down. Because basically, guys who don't know, Cookie, uh, the year before, Cookie's a disgraced champion, right? He mm. he loses the spelling bee because he, he tried to he choked. He tried to imagine the people in his in their underwear, and he's like, "Oh, I screwed up, and I imagined myself in my underwear, and I choked." <laughs> and then so uh, Ned gets all these people to drop their uh, draws, and uh, and yeah, that's how Cookie wins the spelling bee. But I don't think that could fly in today's. You're probably right. Yeah. Um, also, that's like this like weird trope that's been out there is like, "Oh, you're nervous? Just imagine everyone in your underwear." I don't understand. What that is? Remember, like, remember, everybody's as like, like vulnerable, vulnerable as, you. as you. Yeah, that, I get it. I get it. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Like underneath, like uh, all that, you know what I mean? It's Whatever just you're flesh and blood, of, like just, you. Yeah, they're just they're just a vulnerable little human. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I get it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you're probably right that it would be weird today. Yeah. Maybe. I want to know I what mean, that wardrobe I mean, we fitting was in... like. No, actually, I don't want to take no. it in that direction, but no, 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 all no. the different, there was like no, 20 was. different boxers. And, and, oh, yeah. and that was it. It's like all of us are in, like they knew it was television, so it's all of us, they got us like big boxers to wear. They were like down know? to your knees. Yeah, exactly. Like it yeah. was like we're wearing shorts underneath. You know, they gave us like, bi- no one was in tidy whities Like yeah. it was like yeah. big boxers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's uh, that's the that's the sweet, sweet, sweet spelling bee episode. It was, again, very, very innocent to me as most things that I feel like you know, in this day and age, maybe wouldn't fly that that were on our show. I feel like we talked about like one more of those things, but it, it just seemed very innocent. Yeah. Oh yeah, for, for sure, yeah. for sure, Super innocent. Yeah. yeah. I really enjoyed the episode. Uh, <sighs> Can I tell you guys the absolute horror that was this episode for me? Okay. okay. I want horror? you to read this. M- Monstache. Mustache. That's a U. Oh, that's a U. It looks <laughs> that is like a, a backward, a backward N, dude. N. Spelling bee. What does this say? <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh, but you're funny. It says mustache, but it looks like monstache. Too. Okay, well, mustache is is what it should mustache. be called. Oh, because nice. did you have a mustache? You guys didn't see it. No. It looks as though I have some sort of chocolate pudding <laughs> on my lip. Like it, there's a there's a so ring around pudding? my mouth. What, it's the you? first time I noticed it. And then you guys, you know that the same with the boob moment. I had a lip hair moment where Mary Resnick had to come in. And be like, hey, we can see your <laughs> beard. <laughs> you got to do something about that. And the oh, difference between that episode rough. and the next one, you can see it. Oh no, that there isn't any. Oh, because she went in. It was well, we, serious. we had the same. Serious. We had the Dang. same thing. I mean, it just hurts it's a little not more. The same I know thing. it hurts a little more, but we had the same thing. I think. I think I started shaving on oh, yeah. Ned's, even yeah. though it's not like I. I probably had one hair like it's not <laughs> like I had this like yeah, yeah. I, I had nothing but enough that on camera they're like hey can you start you shaving, shaving. Yeah. yeah and I didn't realize they were asking you the girls start. to do that too dang um Listen, d- did you have to have shave hair. on there yeah like right? second season we right? started they yeah. asked wow. us mm-hmm. wow yeah. Yeah. and yeah. I, I hated it because I get ingrown hairs and crap it was just terrible no it's all it's all like I don't like shaving At all, because I hate shaving, yeah, yeah. It, if I don't have the beard I have stubble because I'm not shaving because I just yeah, hate I that process on my down, skin. No, no, yeah, no it's not I don't good. like that shit. Yeah, it grows uh, there for a reason, man. Kind of like it, wisdom teeth. No, Daniel. No, Keep Daniel. Keep those wisdom teeth. <laughs> don't, Deal with don't, the pain. Don't listen to him. That's crazy. Be Take a man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That is like. That is like typical dumb man shit. Yeah, yeah. Let me keep my wisdom teeth because I'm a man. <laughs> I want to hurt for the rest of my life and feel yes. tension in my yes. jaw forever yes. and co- have constant headaches. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the life. It's the Let's life. Let's me know I'm a man. American way. God. Wow. Got no, but that attractive. mustache was fucking. It was brutal because okay, for some reason, I was using creams at first to take it off, which. Definitely chemically burned me here oh, and damn. here. Oh um, oh I don't know why there wasn't a simpler way to go about that. Yeah. Um, so it was kind of t- traumatizing all the way around, but um, we got through it. Any good memories from the episode? <laughs> um, <laughs> I did love the double hair tie. Mose has a double hair tie. Like she, I don't know. It's only like a girl thing. Maybe you don't. Oh, notice, I know what you mean. It's you know like what I mean. One it's and, good, one. and right. It's got That's one cute. and one, and it's just like this really cutie little thing. It makes me remember all of right. the time in the hair chair when yeah, we would come up cute. with those simple but little. And you got a whole Gordy episode. That that was you my favorite yeah. part of this episode. Yeah, you got yeah. to like have some high drinks with Gordy. Is is like that relationship was established, and yeah, it was very fun. Yeah, Mose, uh, you know, forces uh, janitor Gordy to clean up. That stanky teacher's breath. Yeah. You're supposed to see dirty things, please. <laughs> uh, I thought uh, Rachel Sibner, again, Lisa Zemo, the sniffly girl, mm-hmm. had a had a great, she's like barely in the episode, but she had that line, uh, they give her the word, and oh, she's yeah. like, can you repeat it? And you repeat it? And then she goes, can, can you, you spell, spell it? it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was great. I I, was that, great. that line yeah. really, yeah. I, I really enjoyed. Yeah. That made me yeah. laugh a lot. Mm-hmm. And then I also liked Ned... First word up is nervous because he doesn't want to sit next to Mr. Gross. He gets cat. 
And he's like, tight. And he's like, don't worry, Moses. <laughs> the first round, the words are always, always easy. easy. Yep. And mm -hmm. then you get flaux and now synopsis hippification. Dude, I would go around like for years, just randomly, I would just recite that flaux and now synopsis No, <laughs> no. I say it. Yeah. Do you know what it yeah. is or what? Is it a real word? It's what does it mean? It's supposed to be like the state of like uh, rendering things worthless or just evaluating things as worthless. I mean, you know what? Actually, I got my notes here. Let me. Let me hey. See Wait, wow. That's what? what? I, I never, never looked. looked it up. Nihil pilification, like nihil, 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 yep. The action or habit of estimating something as worthless. I used to just go around just saying that, not even knowing what it meant. Just I love the. the That's like a of lot yeah. of words to say nihil that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. It's can a lot. can you repeat it? <laughs> and then, and <laughs> can, then can you spell it? <laughs> we have. I think we can all do Seth Powers' line really quick. Yo. Take him down this year, Cookie! And like the earnestness in his face. Dude, like, Alex Black, the man. The behind the voice, that was great. He yeah. has so many lines throughout the series that like, just to me, when they land, I'm like, that is, oh, like that yeah. is yeah, iconic. That will stand up forever. It's crispy. just said, it's crispy. The way yeah. it's said is so specific to him, sure, so earnest. I, I laughed my ass off yep. when I saw it. Yep. And it was like a thing for us on set. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we yeah. used to repeat, uh -huh. that was one of those yep. that we would like yep. say to each other. Mm -hmm. Take him down this yes. year, cookie. Man. <laughs> Loved it. Fantastic. He had a way of saying lines that was like, I would never hear a line said that way, yeah. except yeah, no. for him doing it. Yep. Like, it would come out yep. with like emphasis in places that I'm like, the wrong syllable. Alex, this is so the funny, wrong syllable, dude. Yeah. yeah, that's actually my favorite when people like um, take me by surprise with their phrasing and stuff, yes. and their whatever, and like it still, it still gets in there. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, it's not the like typical like face yeah. value way mm -hmm. you'd read the line. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love that. I'm recalling that opening scene for Cookie because it opens with you guys kind of talking about how Cookie like blew it or whatever, and then it goes to that uh, that scene of me on stage about to blow it, and I'm s like sweating profusely. A lot of times they did the glycerin, but this time it was actual um, like water jets in my hair, and I remember they turned it up like man. the first episode, like the first episode, yeah. But they put way more. They're like, oh, his hair is perfect to just hold the stuff in there. We can hide it easily. They, so they put like four tubes of water in there. They you had so a much. whole life with that prop department. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that was where my guys. I love the product. Like Barbara. that yeah. was crazy. Oh, man. Diana. You too. Diana, bro. Diana she props. was so cool. She was yeah. so cool. She was so badass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She was a badass. Boss. Super boss. Also getting fun things. She got fun things to do. They're like, hey, you need to figure this out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I remember her specifically, this is a way later episode, but it was the Monday's episode, and there's a monkey throwing matzo balls at me, and they lined the crew up to throw ma matzo balls at me. And I was a child, and I, I remember Diana having a great time throwing lots of balls uh, at me. You're enjoying this too oh. much. I remember her hurling them at me. Dang. Wow. Respect. Everyone else was tossing. She was hurling. Yeah. Respect. Yep. yep. Hey. Respect. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> also, just um, a, a thing that I have in here. I have a heart around the word Kyle, because just ugh, Kyle, when he's just like, when he's on his knees and he's like the killer bee. Yeah, they're, they're but spelling know, him to, to death. I'm not sure if it was just because they were kind of like smaller, but he looks huge. Beefy. Kyle, he looks so large. Kyle was bigger than all of us. Oh, all like, was, wait, yeah. like the angle of this or something was so weird because I think it was up a little because they had to like yeah. film going yeah. down. He but also huge. he gets in Cookie's face and goes, don't choke. Oh, don't yeah, yeah, choke. Uh -huh, yeah. And he's he's bigger than all of us. Kyle, yeah. that's why Kyle had that the growth spurt in the first, ep yeah. the first yeah, season. Yeah, his hit before yeah, yeah. everybody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Kyle was a big boy. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Kyle didn't know his own strength. No. Yeah. No. Kyle was a lap like was a 200 pound lap dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, He's like, yeah, we're all, we're all messing around, right guys? And then he'd like throw you. <laughs> You're like, no, <laughs> fuck Kyle. Uh, no, Kyle's the man. Yeah, he's right? the yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get him on this pod. Bully Loomers, who we're talking about, Kyle Swan. Soon enough. Uh, we're Soon gonna enough. get him on the pod at some point, but he lives in England and he works for the BBC shooting nature documentaries, so it's really hard to pin him down. Right now, uh, he said he couldn't do this day of recording because he is getting his rebreathing certification, which is a t special type of um, scuba gear oh. that it doesn't create bubbles, so it doesn't create sound. It sends it all back through these tubes, and it's a like it's it's actually a, if if you fuck up setting up your rebreather, you're gonna die. 
Um, so it's like really heavy. <laughs> it's a really <laughs> heavy certification. Yeah. But what it allows them to do is get like closer to animals because it's not creating like bubbles Acoustic. and it's not creating sound. So for animals that don't get near strange sounds, he can go film them with the rebreather. Like, yeah. his life is so fucking cool now, guys. Well, why don't they just send me my fucking rebreather working so I don't have to keep setting it up? What, what do you does mean? it depend on the different depths you what go? What do you mean? No, like, you well, always like have it, to set, set it up. Like, oh. before you go in, like, your scuba gear, you have to, like, hey, let me like check the just tank. Make one that just, just one size fits all. Right? <laughs> I don't want to die. That's how scuba gear works, right? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? You don't but understand. Yeah, it's, it's like you, you'll never know. You'll you don't never understand. Know. I've never been scuba diving, guys. I'll Are you test telling it out. me? Would you guys be yeah. cool going down and taking footage of the ocean? No, <laughs> absolutely. I would not. love to. I would love to. Now, the idea of pressurized, like you that, know, bro. metal thing, just you know, squeezing. Well, me even to death, the scuba I hate. diving, like if you raise too fast, there's going to be oh, yeah. nitrogen in your blood, and you're going to yeah. die. Like shit, yeah. like that. Like, and I'm sorry, nah. you guys. What if so a shark boils. literally just appeared? Th they have seen that. I've seen a shark fuck around and get in somebody's cage, man. Yep. Like they're in this cage, thinking they're all good. They're just filming. Yeah. The shark just flounders, and they're in there with the shark. Yeah. And then the shark flounders his way out. Ky Kyle swim with sharks, and he loves it. He's like, oh, it was sick. No. Yeah, yeah. We got to talk to this man. He sounds like he's the world's no. most interesting man. He really is fascinating. Like, would you dive it down into that like deep blue no. hole or whatever? Like no. Mariana's Trench. Yeah. No. I've always wanted to go. I'm like, if I'll go into a, a and I just left a 20 hour flight to freaking Sierra Leone. If I'll go up in the air and that risk of you know whatever happening, plane crashing, I should be able to go under the water. Like, why not? Uh, yeah, for me, uh, no. No. Yeah, no. Really? That's a, and I'm that's adventurous, a no. but I'm interested open, in seeing. open ocean, deep, claustrophobic with the scuba nope. gear. Nope. I'm just like, nah, I'm good. Even thinking about it. Kyle yeah, the, loves the it. It's like his happy place. Of but failing I, is like really elevated down there. Yeah, and just, nah. Like, been, we're been not amphibians. Like, like I'm no. not a water being. Thank you. I'm yeah. like, it's a different world. I love snorkeling. Right. I yeah. love swimming, but like, when I need to fucking use a tank to go in the open. Mm -mm. Professional shark have... divers are one of the most, most fascinating things I've ever seen. Yeah. They're, they're telling you all like, well, if a shark comes up to you, you just, you just make sure you get it on yeah, the you nose. You just pat and it on the nose. Away. Away. Make that sound Send pretty easy. Away. Yeah, I mean, that's. Mm. I mean, it's true. I, I That would be cool. But, um, but no, even just no. being in the boat in like open, open ocean would be yeah. frightening. Dude, man. Very, the, like in Sierra deep. Leone, we had to take this ferry, like which is across the Atlantic Ocean. You you would think it's a river, but it's this huge just opening. Uh, okay. And it's the Atlantic Ocean. And it was like a 40-minute ride from the airport to get to the like main city. Whoa. So that was weird for me because I'm just looking around. I'm like, yo, you can't see any Yeah, land you can't see land. Wait, whoa. Yeah. Um, and, but they got to fix that. Like, why have the airport across the <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> Sense. Yeah. Um, will you tell us about that, by the way? Oh, yeah. for, for the listeners and the watchers, yeah. Daniel just went to Sierra yeah. Leone to film some music videos. Music videos, yeah. Dude. First first time in West Africa. It was awesome. Loved it. Uh, Dude. I, so, so many weird, like, apprehensions about going to West Africa that I just didn't know. Like, because I feel like, like in our school systems, we don't really study much about Africa. Mm -hmm. No, we do not. They not, kind of like, skip over it. No. Yeah, <laughs> and so that was always just weird for me, especially, you know, African-American, too. I'm like, wh why are there all these... Um, not even miss. Well, there's a little bit of misinformation for sure because yeah. I got there and just loved it. Mm. Um, the biggest issues that I found there were like random, like Western consumer products, and I'm like, if they didn't have all this stuff, like all these plastics and stuff, it would be just beautiful in all of their rivers. The rivers in the city, though, there's a lot of like a lot random of trash, plastic, plastic, plastic. Yeah. Um, but super helpful people, super industrious people. Everybody's selling something. There's commerce going on 24 seven. It was super densely packed in the city. Um. But everyone's so helpful. Like we're we're out there filming. We got these steady cams, all this camera equipment. People are helping us carry stuff like whenever we like needed it. Cause I mean, no one's really gonna steal it because it's like they don't they wouldn't use it for anything. Right. And, right. And blah 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 blah. But I had a really great time. We did travel around with like security guards, like just in case. Sure. But for the most part, it's like everywhere is kind of the same, dude. And it was it was like a weight off my chest. Like, yo, this place is vibey like i can yeah. come here and like like chill the property is like super super like cheap you can get like a beachfront property for like 10g 5g i'm maybe sure 10G. yeah so were you in freetown we were in freetown yeah cool. and i would advise people to go check out check out freetown man it's awesome i was working with khadijah she's um she's an artist who has family in sierra leone she's actually building a hotel over there wow so. man yeah man this uh, is great 
<sighs> yeah, it was, it was crazy. One, like I think 50 of our dollars is like a million of their dollars. So I was a millionaire. Oh, hey. hey. First Great time, guy. huh? Hey. How'd it feel? Those Nickelodeon checks weren't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, we, uh, we all should have moved to Freetown right after Nets. <laughs> we can still go. We can still go. What now? Is yeah. she based there, or she just has family well, there? Uh, yeah, family there. Well, she has a home there. Her mom is Sierra Leone, and her dad's from the states. But yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, she's gonna be doing a lot, man. So you guys just decided to go? Could she, did she want to shoot there? Or how did that all she, happen? She to wanted get over to there? shoot there, and then we just had to get in contact with, um, you know, a crew. Like, so Local we're trying crews, to wrap our right? head around yeah. it because I'm like, I can bring my director of photography from out here, and bring my gaffers. That's extra money to spend. Right. Why don't we find out who is doing great in West Africa? Yeah. You know, I'm like yeah, yeah. Sierra Leone. Maybe they, they don't have the best crew, and for sure they. Like, it's untapped territory because mm. you could go out there, start a media company, and do great. Like, they're still having, like, 720p uh, resolution yeah, 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 footage yeah. on their television stations. So, yeah, we, we got in contact with a Nigerian group, which is just, like, a couple um, countries over. Awesome, awesome team, like a great film crew that I would put up against the majority of the film crews that I've worked with here awesome. in wow. the States, man. Awesome. Their steady cam operator, Ernest, was killing it, bro. He was like flipping that thing. <laughs> oh, dang. I'm like, yo, you are talented, okay. brother. Like here, you know, everybody's kind of just lazy. Like, oh, I'm going to just do my bare minimum. And then, and then they're literally like, get this off me. Get this yeah, off me. Please, I'm going to put this down. Oh, no, it's a long two minute take. He did not complain, not once, <gasps> wow. bro. And he's just is super, super athletic with it, but just skilled, man. And there was this... um female director so i did a co-directorship with this young lady she is incredible bro she was so on top of it man she's she's from sierra leone she's she's nigerian it was a nigerian uh, film crew that we brought in uh Uh, i think our ac was was from sierra leone but man dude she calls herself pink pink films i gotta plug her man uh yeah she made it so easy for me to kind of sit back on a lot of this stuff and just let her work especially she could she could use her Nigerian like pigeon to kind of communicate. Uh, they speak Creole there. It's not Creole. Creole is K R I O, oh. and it is a it's a type of Creole, but it's Creole in Sierra Leone. But okay. It has a lot of similarities to the Nigerian pigeon that she speaks. But she also speaks freaking awesome English. They sound like they're British pretty much. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Pink Films guys. She just finished a project with Wizkid. He's one of the biggest West African like artists. Love Wizkid. Wow. Yeah, so Khadija's project is going to be great. Yeah, Afrobeat. Listen to some Afrobeat. For real. Honestly, Um, it's the shit. Um, Yeah, Dude, that's so cool, man. Yeah. Uh, You said you've never been to West. Have you been anywhere else in Africa before? First time in Africa, man. First time in Africa. Spain was like the closest, and I didn't cross Gibraltar or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know where your ancestry is in Africa? Yeah, so at least on my father's side. My mom didn't do the ancestry yet, and I didn't do it myself. Um, Yeah, so we're um, like primarily like Nigerian, and then Benin and Togo is uh, another area, but it's it's right right in there, like uh, getting nearer to the equator between the Tropic Cancer and the the equator. Uh, There, a little bit of Mali. Like the Mali Empire, yeah. like Mansa Musa. Yeah, remember the guy like traveled for like the Hajj or whatever. Yeah, and ruined economies for like years. But right. uh, but yeah, man, it was it was awesome. It was awesome. I, so I love cool, West man. Africa, and I advise you guys to check it out. That is so, so cool. cool man. Yeah. I want to go. Wow. Uh, they they stopped Afrochella, but I want to go. Yeah, they, this, yeah, yeah. This last past year, this past year was the first year I heard of Afrochella, yeah, and apparently the last year they're gonna have. They're it. probably just gonna change the, the pro- name. Exactly, yeah. they're gonna change the name. They they yeah. got. Sued for copyright for Coachella, but uh, they have a Afrochella in Ghana, right? Yeah. Ghana, yeah, yeah. My friend I'm went, sure and it Ghana. just looked incredible. Like yeah. that looked like a good time. Yeah, there. Co- um, oh yeah, we there was like a stage show there. Like there was no different. Like I was thinking third world. It was so similar to here in the states. I'm like, yeah, there's dude. no big difference. Just yeah, a lot dude. more land, mm-hmm. and it looks super fertile. Like mm-hmm. yes, yeah, mm-hmm. so, um, I loved it. When I was, I think I was 19. I went to, I went on a trip like this really crazy trip to uh, Kenya with the Masseys. Dude. I remember, yeah. Uh-huh, dude, uh-huh. I went to Kenya with Chris no and Kyle Massey. Way. and like, And like, it was kind of like this daytime documentary. We were working with Feed the Children, so it was like daytime stars. We went to the slums in Nairobi. We like went to a school. We did some like kind of like showing the infrastructure and the work Feed the Children was doing in Kenya. Uh, and then we went on safari, and it was an absolutely insane trip. And yeah, the Massey brothers brought me there. So oh, thanks, guys. Who are they? Thanks, what guys. are they doing? Because that was like a what a life experience to yeah. just, I mean, wow. yeah, yeah, just to be there. It was amazing. Yeah. What yeah. are they doing? 
Yeah. Chris Massey is currently doing Zoe, Zoe 101, 101 re- which movie. got picked up instead of us. <laughs> I'm ready to be a hater. <laughs> oh, yeah. I that TikTok's going to be great. To be, be a hater. hater. No, I, I love those guys. They're they're awesome, man. Uh, but yeah. he, he commented on one of our videos, and he's like, oh, the gang's back. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Get you and your reboot. Comments, Chris. <laughs> you and your reboot. Oh, yeah, he's great. Dude, he I haven't seen them in forever. But I, it's man. only a movie, right? It's not a, yeah, yeah, it's it's not a movie. TV. Oh, yeah, it's a movie. Yeah, 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 it's a movie. Okay, it's a one-off movie. You a little less hatery now. I'm a little less. You'll accept less, Chris Massey's yeah. comments I'll accept, now. I'll accept right, it, Chris. Right. <laughs> uh, Chris and Kyle Massey. Hi, I haven't seen you. Boys he's in got a while. such beautiful kids, man. They're yeah, so great. I feel like it's, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm grateful for for them for that. That was like a wildlife experience. So they were just like Devin, we're taking you to Africa. Pretty much. And then you just got on that plane and you went there. Hell yeah. Nice. I was like, this sounds awesome. Let's go. Dope. I like I like adventures. I like seeing new places. Nice. Amazing. East Africa. I gotta I gotta check out East Africa. Yeah, exactly. That's like East East yeah. Southish. Um yes. I wanna see West Africa too. There's so much good music that comes out of there. Oh yeah, man. Fella Kuti, all those guys exactly. yeah, they're really good. There's so much. Oh yeah, what, what's the episode we're talking about? Spelling bees. Spelling bees. <laughs> Spelling bees. Yeah. Oh, can I tell you a tragic memory from uh oh, my life? Sure. Yeah. So I think it was fifth. Fifth or fourth grade at Medlock Bridge Elementary School. <laughs> Medlock Bridge. Fulton County, Georgia. Um, I'm in there, and I'm like, I'm going to win the spelling bee, right? I'm like, I got this. I'm a smart boy. I choke like cookie, okay? Oh. I choke like cookie. Every word, once I was out, I knew every single word. <gasps> I knew how to spell everything, but let me tell you the word I choked on, and you're going you're gonna to laugh, and you're going to make fun of me. It still hurts. It still hurts because <laughs> yeah. it's so dumb. My mind just went fucking blank. I got one too. Go and ahead. I ruined it. <laughs> they asked me to spell. They asked me to spell these. These. And I spelled. <laughs> and I spelled. No. Hold on. Hold, hold on. on. And I spelled no. these like cheese with two e's. <laughs> oh, that's great though. I love it. I love it. Honest mistake. Oh, oh my mistake. God. Jeez. I'm still, it still hurts my spirit. Can you, can you spell it the way you spelled it and then show me your reaction after they said, eh. Bro, yes, no, exactly. Because it okay. was like these spell. and my mind just went blank. It's that choking. Like I just mm-hmm. choked under pressure. Oh. My mind went blank. I felt, oh, no. I felt numb in my body. And I was like, uh, T H E E S. E. And like my teachers knew me and like rooted for me. They know I'm smart. And and <laughs> the one e. who looked at me and was just like, "That's incorrect." And oh. dude, like, 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 dude, I just shat. I just was like, <laughs> "Oh, I'm a loser." <laughs> the pain. I, like these. <laughs> that, these. It was a beginning these. word. And, these. And you've hated the English language ever, ever since. since. I gave up ever on it ever since. since. Dude, these. <laughs> these. <laughs> well, but you didn't have a mic for it. But, 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 no, bro. But no, geez. no. They must have seen. They must have seen just tears and shame. <gasps> like I felt so just like. How, is how that did that spelling be word? <laughs> I know. Fourth grade. I know. Right? Like, no, it was the early rounds. It was one of the fucking Jeez. gimme words, dude. Jeez. It was like, <gasps> dang. These, dang, the first and I question, spelled yeah. it like cheese. Wait, wow. and did, did you know, though, you knew you had screwed up or just, you were just like. Yeah, no, like I was like sweating and went blank and I knew yeah. as it was coming out, like something oh, was wrong. wrong. And they right, were like, right, that's right. incorrect. And dang. I was like, it is incorrect and I'm a failure. Oh, no. Oh, and then God. I watched these two dudes Other get to the end <laughs> spelling <laughs> these words. I knew every single one. Oh. I was like, I know that one. I know Dude. that one. I know that one. Dude, no, I know that one. I, I, I had a similar circumstance, and I think I I was like, it was the last like five or something like that. So whatever. But I Oh, so I, you were doing very well. So you weren't an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> yeah. But um but I was in second grade, okay? And I remember the word as well. And it was corral. Corral. All right. Like like a pin that Wait, you put hold on. like animal. C-O-R-R-A-L. In. Great. That's I what wish, I would guess. I wish I was C-O-R-R-A-L. And I spelled coral. Yes. You know, honest <laughs> mistake. Super, super yeah. honest. It's just an R mistake. You know? yeah. Yeah. I'm not. A, I'm not mad at you for that one. But it, you still had the feeling that I did, didn't you? Yeah. Mm. It just hurts to get. It was painful. It hurts yeah. to get it wrong. It's tough, but kids have to learn oh, that okay. you don't get a prize for failing. I'm sorry. You I, made okay. an error. I, I agree. I am <laughs> the <laughs> only you one. Don't win. The only one here who <clears throat> lost off of a. A decent word. Well, oh. corral. That's that's yeah. that's that's like an honest mistake. Okay, you missed one R. But yeah. here's the difference with and, my and I only added an E. So fuck both of you. <laughs> 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 um, 
I, uh, okay, so the, what compounded mine was that we were on a field trip mm -hmm. to the Heritage School Museum, so we were all dressed like Laura Ingalls Wilder. I don't know the word you just said. Who okay. is that? Laura Ingalls Wilder, Little House on the Prairie. I remember that book. We all that had to be dressed book. in like old- You're in like prairie. Old oh, huh. prairie dresses, you, bonnets yeah. and oh, shit. While doing a spelling bee. <laughs> and then they were awesome. like, we're doing the spelling bee here. And I was like, oh great. Cause I was just like, oh, all I had was cool. And so I literally am just like up there and I'm like, yeah. And then she's like, patience. How'd you spell it? You put Definitely. A C, you put yep. a C in yep. there. She put an yep. S-H in yep. there. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> it was something with a C and an S. Like yeah. it was some like P A. Yeah, that wasn't yeah. a T in there. No, nope. And um, I just remember hating Paige Zaz is who won. Paige, Paige you were Zaz. lovely. It's great name, right? Paige Zaz, and she won. Damn. And you I just remember her. thinking, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> and who, what I was, who I was really talking to, yourself. Oh, that's hey, that's deep. That's what it comes Takes a down lot to. to. Say that. Yeah, you projected it out. I did. But on really, the Zaz, and it didn't need to happen. It wasn't yeah. about the Zaz. It wasn't about the Zaz. Zaz spelled correctly. No. It was about It was me. you. Dang. It was about me. It was you. It was me. You could just blame the public school system, though. Oh, that, that makes I, it I went to, <laughs> I went to Catholic. <laughs> I went to Catholic school, oh, so private well, school no, all the no. way. Yeah. You could blame those nuns. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Damn. You know what uh, bothers me that everyone spells wrong now that's similar to these and cheese is everyone comments... Everyone spells lose, loose. Oh, these mm. days. These yeah, days. So no weird. one knows yeah. how to spell lose. L-O-S-E. Yeah. Different from loose. loose L-O-O-S-E. Yeah. Everyone's like, <sighs> you lose. And I'm like, I loose? I always <laughs> you wonder, lose. I'm it's always, like you're telling me I'm loose? I, I always wonder if they. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> I always wonder if they're just for, like, foreign in oh. like a language barrier way. True, true, true. If true, that's true, the case, true, true. fine. But yeah. I don't think so. I think yeah. it's a lot of kids yeah. who grew up with English. And yeah. we call that linguistic discrimination, ladies and gentlemen. What? Yes, where there, there's <laughs> this thing where um, people will choose to um, prioritize one form of communication over the other. Oh, so like the verbal rather than the spelling? Is that what you mean? Oh, well, well like, Spelling, like that's something that does alienate a certain group of our population. That's true. Because not everyone's been educated. You have to be yeah. educated in the spelling versus uh, That's true. Although I know for a fact I know, I know. I know for very, a fact a cool. lot of the people went to the same um, public school you went to. Yeah, a lot like, of people hey, misspelling right. loose. Look, if if second language, all good. Um yeah, yeah, but yeah. I know it's people who I know for a fact there's some people who oh, he knows no, for they a went fact. to school. Yeah. They went to the same school. For a fact? <laughs> this yeah. guy. Is there any way for me to fact check this? <laughs> no. So you Convenient. want me to just take your word for it? Convenient. No, but yes, I, I had to, I had to, I had to, I had to. Yeah. You really mean what you said. I mean, yeah, I shared it, yeah. <gasps> no. I mean, if, if it's a gym to help people learn back right? at home, you know, sometimes we can, you know. Oh, oh, is it time? It's time for... Speaking fan of linguistics. Look, guys, so we're going to try something here, which is that we found out that there's a bunch of um, fan fiction out there. For now, here's Neds. the deal. And am I supposed to read this whole thing? As much as you want to get into. Until right. we stop you if it gets All right. ridiculous. We Listen, we there's a lot of Ned's fan fiction out there, and we thought it would be fun um, to kind of live read some of it for the first time. We haven't read any of this. Our producers collected it. It's a sunny August afternoon, and Simon Cookie, Nelson Cook, was going to his pal Ned Bigsby's house to work on a school project together. Cookie's brain for math and science far outweighing Ned's, even though he never bragged about it. <laughs> After a frustrating couple of hours trying to get the brunette, blue-eyed, fun-loving boy to understand what they were doing, the boys decided to take a break for a snack and a cold soda. Sitting beside Ned on his bed, Cookie reached past his friend to put his glass on the bed Side table, accidentally brushing the back of his left hand oh, across Ned's chest. Is already <laughs> but for what? a white. <laughs> Wait, how did they get? <laughs> what? You're. <laughs> but for a white t-shirt. Why? When? What? <laughs> when? <laughs> when did this happen? His <laughs> chest was. <laughs> all but for a white t-shirt. I I think they just meant he had a shirt. It doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Having a shirt on. <laughs> the details. The details. <laughs> 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 hey, she's a wait, 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 wait. Oh my crazy. god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh well, dang! That was fan fiction, ladies and gentlemen. So that was fan get fiction. Get on out of here! Read <laughs> oh my god! I'll How take many a more copy of that. Of this, um, that do we have? Hold on. That was. I feel like I need to call Lisa Zemo and see how she feels about this. That was way more than I thought it was. Oh gonna my god! Be. Of course, that's what it is, y'all. 
That was rough. That what was rough. I'm concerned about about Abut, I can't speak oh, anymore. I'm so flustered, it's Daniel, like from the, rough. the love rough. we just shared. What I'm concerned about is who is writing these. Yeah, yeah. It's like is this some forty year old man? I'm afraid. Or a, I'm afraid it's a grown well, hopefully man. Hopefully, it was a, a young, whoever a, a it is. They are girl? obviously in touch with how they feel and a very descriptive writer. Who are you calling? I, I'm calling uh, Rachel Sibner. What? Lisa Zima. She in might the not pick of up this fanfic. I need. Oh, hello. Rachel, hello. How are you? This is this is Daniel. Uh, did you Daniel Daniel? I know Daniel. Good to hear from you, man. You know me. This is great. I am sitting here with uh, Devin and Lindsay Shaw. Hi, Rachel. Rachel. Hey. Also, congrats, Devin, on becoming an uncle. Hey, hey thank hey, you so oh. much. Congrats what? on being a mother. Yeah. What is up with that? <laughs> What's what is up? up with what? Him becoming an uncle? No, you becoming a mother. When did that happen? Oh, What's it's the cute, baby? cute little baby Emma. Yeah. Well, I, technically, I made her about 15 months ago. <laughs> okay. Oh. okay. Yeah, no, she's awesome. I feel super lucky to have her in my life. Oh. oh. Lisa Zemo. You, this is my first crush, guys. Lisa Zemo. Um, Lisa Zemo. Congrats. Yes. Rachel, it's so nice to talk Aww. to you. It's been so long. We've been uh, re-watching the show on this pod, and uh, you're so fucking funny in yeah, it. You so are fantastic. Oh, in, in in this, sweet. Yeah, in Spelling Bee, like your moment where you're like, um, can you um, repeat it? Can you spell it? <laughs> Can you spell it? Yeah, you have like one line in the Spelling Bee episode and it killed me. Like, it's so funny. And in all the episodes, I find like, man, you, you just crushed every scene. Yeah. Yeah. And well, for me. You guys are so sweet. And that means so much coming from you guys, considering oh. how talented each one of you oh. Oh. She's so sweet. She's, She's so, so, so kind. Sweet. My favorite part of yours, though, that we've rewatched so far is you. Mm -hmm. um, like uh, getting Cookie in the pit stop to to make sure that he's not sick for Hunsucker because he doesn't yeah. want to go home. And you like bring him in, you do his nose, you do his oh, eyes, and yeah. you put like, you know, the cooling pack on his head. It's just so <laughs> sweet. Aww. Yeah. Well, I have to be honest, you guys are definitely refreshing my memory. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I haven't She's watched like, this in Yo, no, <laughs> this us, I was on this. us two, to be honest, this is our first time rewatching any of us in like, you know, 20 years. So yeah. we're we're remembering things as we rewatch that are, have definitely been lost to our minds. Yeah, man. Isn't memory lane kind of a cool place? Oh, super, super, super cool. Super yeah. cool. I have, I have the best memories. I mean, we were so fortunate to be in such a positive environment. We had such oh. a kind cast and crew. Yeah, Scott yeah. Fellows, you know, mm -hmm. woop, woop. and writer. I mean, it's really set a great tone. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. What, Absolutely. What has life been like for you after the show? I mean, I know there's a bunch of years to fill in there, but like. She went to college. You you actually inspired me to go to college uh, a little bit there, Rachel. Yeah, because you, you went to El Camino right first, right? That was like right up the street from me. Yeah, well, this is news to me to know that I inspired you. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's yeah. really yeah. cool. Like, yeah, I did community college. Then I transferred into UCLA. Mm -hmm. Nice. Totally switched my major and did a post-baccalaureate and a master's to become a speech pathologist. Oh, oh my yeah. God. So she studied some linguistics there too. Wow. wow. Y'all were meant for each other. Wait, right? is, Cookie didn't deserve. I didn't is, deserve Lisa. Is speech pathology you helping uh, kids with speech impediments? Can yeah, be. Yeah, so there's a speech and a language component. Mm -hmm. I could uh, go into the details, but then I take up the rest of your show. No. <laughs> I just want to say that's so awesome because I couldn't say my R's as a kid, and I had to see a speech therapist uh, to mm. learn how to say them. And in a couple weeks, she helped me say my R's, and she changed my life and helped me speak better. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. That's a super common struggle. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. R is a, it's a tricky one. Yeah. How does it feel like she's giving us a hug just with her voice? I know. This whole thing. Like, what's it. up with that? She's always had that genuine energy. Hey, it. Rachel, how's, how's your mom? He's good. First of all, I would like to clarify, I am giving you all a hug with my voice. Oh! <laughs> Lovely. And, you know, and that could be why it feels that way. I remember how, like, sweet, light, positive your mom was. Like, she oh, just great. was like this feisty, but calm woman. I, I, I just remember her. And you're... Oh. What's Andrew up to? Dude, I feel like I've talked to him recently, dude. right? Yes. Wait, what? Yeah, dude. He's one of the coldest like animators. Like, do yeah. Yeah. Me, so Rachel, uh, Rachel's brother, uh, younger brother, was always on set with us because yeah. she had to be there. Um, so <laughs> her little brother was always running around, and we know him now. And he, what? He's an animator for Imagineers, Imagineer? the biggest the Disney, yeah. right? 
Right. You know? Yeah, wait, yeah. Well, yeah expl- explain it a little bit, uh, Rachel, if you... So I'm super proud of Andrew. her. Andrew. He had a role in kind of designing some of the behind the scenes over at Disney. What? Yeah, man. Shout out Andrew Sibner. Yeah, man. that's Andrew, so cool. Man. We grew up with him like playing our campaign mode in, in, in Halo. Halo. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Devin. Yeah. Would... <laughs> I have to say, you guys are going to be making both my mom's day and my brother's day because they listen to this podcast. Oh, hey! Shout Rachel, out to the whole Sibner fam. Rachel, tell, tell them Shout to out Mama. skip skip to the end though. The top of this podcast yeah, was don't, a rough don't, one. Don't just don't. Dude, for, yeah, don't, that's why I had to you call you to, to get Daniel, my, my you masculinity back. You listen to call with like a non sequitur. We were deep somewhere else. I was like, else. we got to get out of this. So I'm like, I, they can't remember me for that so on this. Oh my god, this was rough. Um You'll see the episode, Rachel. Oh, it's rough. But yeah, Andrew, <laughs> Andrew, I felt bad. Like, like he was around set, and then he'd be like in there, like playing Halo, and then when we'd all come in came. and like kick him out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He says we'd all. Devin would come in like, yeah, hey, get yeah, off my oh, campaign oh, mode. Work, blah, blah, blah. It's okay, Dev. He's just playing. He's having I a good time. I guarantee you, Andrew only has the best memories of all of you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, good. We did have like, <laughs> we did have like the well, best I experience. All three of us. My mom. My yeah. Mother, Dad. Yeah. Bell. Yeah. I don't think my dad ever made it onto set. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't. Picture, but no, but I, I used to. I used to hang with your dad. Like, well, we were kind of going to like events together at one time. I don't know if you remember Rachel. Uh, I remember. Okay, you do. Okay, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I think our parents were trying to sh- shop us around like we were like a couple or something. Like uh, that. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> little but uh, little tiger beat heat. Little tiger beat heat. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, we Rachel. We always enjoyed each other's company. There's no doubt. That Absolutely. Part. That part. The best company, man. Really. Rachel, nice. do you have any favorite moments or episodes or like little Z- Lisa Zemo gags that I mean I know it's it's been quite a while, but um, <laughs> just anything that you kind of remember of her or from her? I mean, it's the go, it's the. It has to be, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. You did a permanent like damage to your throat with that. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Those sounds were real yeah. from you too. Wait, at what? the gulp. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There was one where, like, oh, sick days, yeah, where she's like, oh, we have so much in common. Yes, we've got our allergies. that was such but a funny scene. You know which one she yeah. was also great? We have so it's much in common. Seating. seating. What Remember seating because it, like, sit at the cool table? Yes. Right? Oh, yeah. And it was, yeah. like, them quirly in her life. Yeah, and like, she's like... like <laughs> Oh yeah, and, and lunch lady just looks at Lisa, Lisa and, and Corley and laughs. Oh, yeah. yeah, look yeah. at them. <laughs> you know Jeez. what I remember from that episode though is there was the cool table and the not so cool table, uh-huh. and the not so cool table was a lot more fun. That's mm-hmm. right. That part. That, that part. Alex's character uh-huh. saying something like, "I watched a movie." Yeah, it's <laughs> good. Yeah, something simple. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. wait, wait. Also, just the episode, in, like um, where he's car- carrying you back to the table. I just remember that. I know we touched on that. One. Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> um, anything you want to say to all the uh, people out there who still love you and the show? Right? Yeah, you're one of our yeah, most, most requested, requested yeah. people. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's very flattering. It's funny because I've kind of become. I sort of grew up after the show. When I was on the show, I had no sense of self. That mm-hmm. that came later. That came like. The beginnings were during my UCLA years. Mm. So it's kind of funny to me that I have this this fan base kind of because I've sort of um, I kind of discovered I'm more of a private person. So I appreciate okay. they're all out there. But like, I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on Instagram. Oh, it's so hard if tracking you down. Sees any accounts. They're not mine. I kind of have <laughs> my own little bubble and I'm comfy there. But I love the fact that there are people out there that have watched the show, have resonated with the show. And I have so much love for that community. Mm. I love that, Rachel. Wow. And I respect yeah. uh, I respect that you're not in the public world and that you wanted to do a phone call instead of be on it, even though we wanted to see you. We man, really like, wanted to see you, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, respect, but really man. respect, respect yeah. for yeah. not being, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, the boundary in your life and just being like in yeah. your world. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. That's really well, beautiful. I appreciate that, guys. Yeah. And I mean, if you guys want to do a video with me or we ever want to get together, yeah, I'm hell yeah. okay with my face being seen. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll do like something. Stay a bit more private. Dude, yeah. yeah. I, I reached out to her. I was like, oh, yeah, the fans want to see you. She's like, hey, hey, slow, slow down. Slow down. She's like, I haven't talked to you in 12 yeah. years, She's Daniel. Like, How chill. are you doing, Daniel? Oh. Thanks for being a real person, Rachel. <laughs> we yeah. love her. Yeah. We're. I think of you guys. I really do. I know mm. a lot of time has passed. Between you know our last interaction, yeah. But I I think of you guys and hey. 
It's so nice to hear from you all, really. Oh, wow. Likewise. So beautiful inside Likewise. and out. Really, yeah. really Likewise. put a huge Likewise. smile on my face, Rachel. And yeah, a huge smile while I watch all of it back. Yeah, um, for real. It's just so, it, like, it's just so meaningful to know that we we all put in performances that I feel like stand up. Yeah. You oh, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why it's still, you know, good today. Yeah. But what a beautiful life. Um, yes. Yeah. Enjoy that beautiful baby. That just sounds yeah, amazing. Yeah, she's so cute. The, the image you sent of her, I think she was on a little horse thing, the little rocking Oh, horse yeah, or whatever, so cute. Daniel, a picture of her on a little rock. Okay, you I'll, need to I'll show, show you guys us to it. Photos. Please. My father made for me before I was born. <gasps> oh, oh, that's so dope. That's so dope. It's an extra special photo. But yeah, no, I'm definitely enjoying my little girl. She's amazing. I don't know how I got so lucky between the husband that I have and oh. just the Shout out Greg. Shout out Greg. The family I married into. Nice. I really feel super, super lucky. It can only wow. go downhill from here. Amen. No, 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 no. It's going up. It's going up. It's no, going you, up. Girl, you got it. Yeah, you're we there, like, you're there like in adulthood with a family. We're here just being sluts we for are attention. So we are it's all good. Girl, help us. Help. No, she she is with this phone call. <laughs> help you. Yeah, just well, perseverance. I mean, <sighs> it's an important thing. There, there's struggle in life, and then there's the ups and the downs. Like, no matter how good it is, yeah. we all have our downs and we all have our ups. Yeah. yeah. I know there's such great things to continue to come for all of you guys. Really. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh my gosh. So sweet. I love her. Yeah, see, and Thanks, she, she's so well rounded. Her mom was a psychologist, so of course she's got that helps. good stuff. That yeah, you, you, I mean, that can go either way. So good true. for you, Rachel. Oh, well, true, true, true. Dude, well, thank you for letting us have you on the show, man. And we can't wait to link up with you. Uh, I know we were trying for like the 30th, but you got that birthday party thing you're doing. But we're going to link up, man. I got to see baby Emma. Oh, yeah, me too. Invite me. Yeah. Yes. No, let's plan something, and I'd love for you guys to meet Emma. Any chance I get to show her off? Nice. I'm like the proudest mama ever. Oh, <laughs> epic! What can't wait. Hey, well, well, for sure, uh, Rachel, man, great talking to you. We're going to go ahead and close up, uh, I guess, this episode, and what a great way to close oh, it up. Oh, my gosh. Uh, hopefully, we have some Cookie Lisa Zemo fan fiction yep. next time instead of what we had today. But, hey, Rachel, we love you over here. We love you over here, and we will talk to you soon. Lots of love back at you guys. Rachel. Bye, Rachel. Peace, peace. Thank you, babe. Bye. Uh -huh. Woo! Her nervous she's system so great. is healed. Yeah, she's good. Yeah, she, she sounds great. She made it out the gauntlet, right? Daniel. We <laughs> Daniel. What the hell? I had to segue. You were so I had to hard segue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me see. Daniel. Lindsay just made this crap up. I don't even believe that's Daniel. on the page. Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. You oh, dang, just... it's there. You, Daniel, you guys. What was that segue? <gasps> Why did you call her to, right I'm then? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How is that even gonna? That, that, there's, there's no real no, connection. There's but. no connection. <laughs> there's no blending. That is now healed. I'm like, okay, let me call up one of my ladies. So I can, <laughs> <laughs> that was Rachel. I. I <laughs> a whiplash. That was emotional and tonal Ooh. whplash. Oh yeah, yeah. The audience is gonna be like, what the? Yeah, what the fuck? Happened? We're we're now having like sweet, sweet reminiscing yeah. with Rachel after. Yeah. Why did you do you gotta that? Rip the bandage off, man. You gotta rip. Why did you do off. that? <laughs> I mean, hey, man. You know. <sighs> it was great to catch up with Rachel, but I'm still like, <laughs> it's like a I was somewhere right else. I'm I'm literally I'm I, fucked. I didn't like where we were. I had, to, <laughs> I had to leave that place. I had to leave it, guys. Oh my god. It, and Lindsay, you're getting more, huh? You're getting more? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fan um, fiction, no. But, yep. yo, man. All right, guys. Well, What's the tip? What's the tip? Holy Ooh. shit. Dude, Ooh. I feel like so weird now that you just called Rachel. Like, oh. really. Rachel, I loved catching up with you, but you called, like, an old <laughs> friend that I needed to catch up with? With I mean, no hey, transition. Hey, you know. Why did you I'm do sorry. that oh, to me? No, I don't no even more. know how to close this episode. We gotta end the episode. The tip is, what was the episode? Spelling bee? I don't even know anymore, dude. <laughs> um... <laughs> Does anyone have any sort of wrap up for this episode? I am. <laughs> okay, I guys, the tip is to um, not get consumed <laughs> by any of this uh, fame chasing stuff, okay? Like our wonderful friend uh, Rachel, you know? She's just living life. She's got a beautiful family. And that is really what life's about, guys. Good people around you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Thanks for being here. See you next week. Yeah, goodbye. Ha uh... <laughs> ha! Goodbye! What's up, guys? Thank you for watching this episode of Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. If you can't get enough of us, we got clips over on the Podco YouTube channel. You can check them out there. And if you really can't get enough of us, we got a ton of extra content and live streams and live Q&As on Patreon. And that helps support this podcast and, and help us keep going and make it possible. So... We love you for that. Uh, check out the links in the description and uh, thanks for tuning in.